So have you ever wondered if it's easier to blow dry your car or dry it with a towel? Well, I was in the same boat and been drying my car with towels for years. And, you know, recently I've thought about it and I've seen many people for years using, you know, car dryers and leaf blowers. So I went and picked up one uh, for myself and I ended up picking up this Ego 650 CFM blower and wanted to see if it makes it any easier or if it's any quicker. So we're going to do a quick um, video here just to see which one is quicker. How long is it going to take me to dry my car with this towel versus blow drying it with this? So this Ego blower, uh, I did charge it so the battery is full. So we're going to sit this to the side. Um, just for the purposes of just this demonstration, uh, my car is actually already clean. Um, so I'm just going to um, rinse it down and um, redry it. So let's get started. So now that the car is good and wet, we're gonna first dry it with a dry towel. So let's uh, get started with that. And let's uh, time this, if I can find it. There we go. And start. So that took, let's stop that, right about nine minutes to get this reasonably dry. So, and dry to the point to where, you know, it's drivable and um, whatever your next step is. All right, so let's re-wet the car and then we're gonna try this again using the uh, Eagle blower and we're gonna blow dry the car and see how we fare with that.
the game. It's a red skin. All right, so now that the car is good and dry, let's go ahead and get started. And this time, let's uh, restart and start. So we are at four, oh, let me put this down, 449. So yeah, a little bit quicker. And the added bonus is with that air, you can get into nooks and crannies like the drip rail for the hood, around the headlights, um, down this cowl area, uh, blowout water from the mirrors and the mirrors and door handles, around the seals, uh, around, around the washer jets. Um, you can get, you know, water that's up in the wheel wells, all around the tire. So using the blower is a very effective way of drying the car. Um, and in my opinion, a far superior way, not only for those reasons I just mentioned is, and the other big reason is you don't have to touch the car so a lot of times when you're drying you are you you leave the door open to scratching the vehicle again because let's say you drop your towel or your towel picks up some dirt along the way you could potentially take that dirt and drag it across your paint as you're drying it with this blower method it alleviates a lot of that um, having to touch the vehicle. So you're just using air to force off any dirt that may have blown on the car so you're not rubbing it into the paint. So, you know, that's one thing to keep in mind, if, especially if you have a car that has been corrected or coated or anything like that, using a, a blow dryer or a blower um, is the safest way to dry. Um, then you take your towel and, you know, you hit little touch up areas with your, with your, um, dry towel, but for the most part, use the blower for everything in between. So I hope this was able to show you all how effective it is using a blower. Um, not only do you use the blower for drying your car, but it has multiple uses. Your dry towel, I mean, it's used to dry your car for the most part. You can't blow leaves or yard debris or anything else like that so multiple uses out of the blower um, and like I said it it is very effective when it comes to drying the car um, as we've seen is quicker um, and it has its advantages um, like I mentioned um, previously so if you're thinking about picking up a blower for your car drying needs um, I highly recommend it and if you have any questions or comments on the video um, please um, leave them below like and subscribe like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content and we'll catch you in the next video